This video is designed to help you navigate in our course management system called Moodle. The first step for you to access Moodle is to get on the internet. So click on your browser and then in the address bar type in the following address http colon with two slashes Moodle M O O D L E period greater G R E A T E R Acadiana A C A D I A N A region R E G I O N dot net then click on the forward arrow and it'll take you to the website we have a welcome page here that provides you with some additional instructions on how to utilize the Moodle Learning Management System. If you click on either one of these two links, you will see a document that you can read and also print out that has instructions on how to utilize Moodle and also access your uh, student email accounts. You can also print these up if you wish. The second uh, link gives you some information on uh, the requirements that you need in order to be able to uh, run Moodle on your PC or laptop and you can go through these requirements uh, and make sure that you have all of the plugins and uh, computing capabilities to be able to run uh, Moodle in an effective manner. The next thing you should be looking for here is the login block you have a username that your instructor will provide you. It usually begins with an ST period, your first name, period, last name, and then a password. Type that in. I'm going to go ahead and use mine so I can get into the system to show you what it looks like. And there we are. In order to access your courses, you scroll down, and here, right at the top of the list, we have the courses for Acadian Campus. Further down, we have the course offerings for all of the other schools in our region. Don't go there. Use only the Acadian Campus. Um, courses. They will all be either under, under a fall uh, 2011 title and so just click on the link and it will take you right to them. They are under a number of categories. The general courses for all programs are, are usually the orientation course and the Jobs 2450 course which all students, no matter what their uh, major, take. And then from there on, you will see programs uh, associated with the instructors that, uh, that teach them. And so just go to the cluster, and you should find your course there. For an example here, I'm going to go ahead and just use the orientation course since uh, most students will take that one sooner or, or later. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to change my role from a teacher to a student so that the display is exactly what you will see. And so I just want to kind of show you uh, what you're seeing here. Moodle 
is set up in what is called blocks. Every one of these areas right here is called a block. The people block will have a list of the participants in the course. So you will there will be a roster there of you and your uh, classmates there. And so if you wish to email any of them or contact them, uh, Moodle has a uh, a way that you can do that and send messages back and forth and also participate in uh, chats. Your activities block is where you can find most of your coursework. Assignments, you see I have a number of assignments in this particular course. Uh, this is a great way for us not to have to worry about you know taking up papers, me putting them someplace, um, losing them, and then we have a disaster. All you've got to do is to click on your assignment, do what's asked of you, and then submit it. It goes directly to my grade book and I can grade it right there and then you've got your grade uh, immediately thereafter. So this is a wonderful uh, way to manage uh, course assignments. Now up here these are called breadcrumbs. You see that you're on assignments. If I click where it says orientation 1000 that takes me right back to my home page. If I click one more time it takes me back to the splash page. And so there's a way that I can just kind of navigate from page to page very very easily. And you see how the breadcrumbs keep dropping and dropping and dropping and, just, and, and you'll be able to see that as I move through the, um, the course books there are some books that are um, kind of built into Moodle as you can see right here and you can go from page to page to read what's there here's the syllabus for the course and instructions assignments and it's very much like a textbook you can also just go through the table of contents shows you how to do a number of things and you just read them and move through them. Notice how my how my breadcrumbs are starting to stretch out. I can go right back here to my course and get out of the book mode. Forums, if um, you're asked to participate in, in a forum uh, you can get news from the, your instructor, introduce yourself. There's an assignment right here where you'll in introduce yourself. And so this is the, the method that, that we use to make that happen. But uh, there may be news that the instructor may want to pass on. Uh, like uh, they, they may not be there that day. They have to go to a meeting. And so whenever you log into Moodle, you'll see a message that Instructor will not be in class that day. Questionnaires like tests. Here's a list of the quizzes. They function in very similar ways. And then other resources that uh, your instructor may decide to put up there like maybe PowerPoints or videos or things like that. You can do searches in the search block and this is probably the, the most important one for you the grades block where you have a grade book when the instructor grades an assignment or a test or whatever they will appear here and you will have a running to total of your points and so it's no problem for you to keep track of what your grade is on a continual basis wonderful little feature that Moodle has here. 
and you'll see a list of the courses that uh, you may also be enrolled in and it gives you a quick link to go to those. Latest news, if uh, there are any news that the instructor needs to post right here, you'll see it in this block. Upcoming events, this is built on the uh, regional calendar here. And so you'll know for holidays or uh, dates of withdrawals and so forth, they'll be listed there. In the middle are your content blocks. If you see anything that is red, usually it has a link to it here. And you basically go from block to block to block, uh, however your instructor decides he or she wants to teach the course. Now, one thing that you need to be concerned about or assignments. See how in this particular case I have a first alert sign up assignment. I click on the link. Instructor would go through and explain the um, exercise, what you have to do. You would do it. And then it says after you've completed the first alert sign up exercise, click on edit my submission below and type I've completed the first alert sign up click on save changes and so you see the block here that says edit my submission. I click on there and what happens is a simple word processor pops up here and so I just type what it is I've been asked to type here. You can copy paste it that'll work too and then you say save changes and then once that's done your submission goes straight to the instructor's gradebook and you're done with that assignment and they'll grade it and give you the points for the assignment. There may be times that you'll be asked to take tests. As we scroll down here, here's a quiz on chapter 3. Whenever you attempt a quiz, you click on attempt and then you start answering questions. This is a, a basic multiple choice test. Uh, they may have true, false, multiple choice, matching. Moodle gives instructors a wide variety of options in order to, uh, to create tests. And so you would just go down, answer all of your questions, and then you've got two choices down here. Very important that you understand the difference between these two. Save without submitting is going to save your answers but not send it to the instructor's gradebook. Let's say they give you a few days maybe to take the test. You just don't have to do it uh, immediately. Well let's say you're taking the test, time runs out, you got to be some other place, you can just save without submitting and you'll come back and finish the test later on. But if you do only this, the instructor will never get your test. The one to the right, submit all and finish, is where all your answers get saved and then they get submitted to the instructor's gradebook. I very rarely, as an instructor, tell my students to use this one because normally they'll all sit down, they'll all take a test, and they'll finish it. And so this is the button that you really want to utilize all the time. Submit all and finish. Because if you don't, the instructor will not get your uh, test results. It's as simple as that. But normally, uh, Moodle will give instructors the ability to put all kinds of content out there for you. This is a PowerPoint presentation. 
this is what it looks like. You always want to tell Moodle to open PowerPoint presentations. And if you have the PowerPoint software and viewer, which is one of the add-ins, you can look at this PowerPoint presentation and see what your instructor is talking about. You also have links to all kinds of other websites that instructors may put on there. There are just a lot of different options that teachers have to be able to uh, utilize uh, this type of course management system to make their courses a little bit more interesting and challenging. So this pretty much covers everything that you will see as a student using Moodle in um, the courses that we teach here at Acadian campus. And so if you have any questions, be sure to ask your instructor or see Dr. Levere and he will be happy to um, answer anything that uh, you might have a question about. And if he doesn't have the answer, he can certainly uh, has access to some people who do. And with that, this will, well, one more thing, always log out up here at the top. It'll say you are logged in as your name right here, but always click the log out button to make sure that you exit the uh, software correctly and it'll take you right back to the login page at Moodle. And so with that, we will end this video.